All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, I've actually I'm switching over to Firefox because uh, it's the only one where I can actually turn on my VPN for this particular browser where Brave does not have support uh, just yet. Because I was thinking, if I move to uh, Tampa, Florida, which I still want to do, and you know, uh, also otherwise, there's like a 99% chance I'm just going to buy a house, right? So what's the issue? Well, the problem is. If I'm doing a live stream and I need to show something on the browser, I want to make sure that, like, you know, if I ever go to Crex specifically, or really any other site, um, you know, it doesn't show my IP address because it's actually very easy to figure out where I actually am. And then, you know, they'll try to fucking dox me and swat me and all that other fucking retarded shit. So, uh, you know, I need to take precautions. So, uh, cause you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, uh, on top of stuff like that, but you know, all it takes is one slip up, right? And then, you know, um, yeah. So both the, uh, but you know, with the VPN, then it doesn't matter because it's just going to show like, let's see right now I have it set to Australia. So good luck trying to find me in Australia, even though I'm not even anywhere near that side of the world. So, uh, we're pretty good. Um, so anyway, uh, I just hate she didn't realize just how much I disliked uh, Firefox. It's such it's so crappy compared to Chrome or Brave, but you know, what, what are you gonna do, right? Hmm. So I had a pretty good night's sleep last night. Still wound up snacking, so I'm gonna try doing like one I'm just gonna try working out every other day. And now that I record when I work out and when I don't. Um you know, maybe that'll give me a, a little you know, a little more recover uh, a lot more recovery. And of course, you know, still take my vitamin C. I think I'm down to like a week's supply, not even. And I'm not even getting my vitamin C tablets until next Wednesday, approximately. Because their backlog is like so huge because everyone's just buying up all the, all the um, essentials and health shit on Amazon. All right. Uh, all right, let's try to make this bigger. Oh, we got we to gotta start resizing everything, too, as we go along. All right, so Bitcoin searches have not been released for this week. Um, let's see. All right, so Bitcoin's doing better because I had I actually have not even by looking at the stuff yesterday. I spent yesterday working on uh, stuff to buy from the asset store. Got another two hundred and eleven, two hundred and seventeen pages to go, and I was listening to a lot of like orchestrated old video game music. It sounds really good. You know, when you use the modern day uh, plugins and synthesizers, it's, it actually is like you know, like really good. You gotta make sure that um, I mean, the only issue is is like trying to make sure it's not too over the top because I do want you to be listening to it as you play the game. And you're gonna be li listening to a loop for like oh, 15, 30 minutes. Anyway, Bitcoin does that uh, sixty five point five percent. Twenty four hour volume is one fifty two point two billion. Oh yeah. And yeah, I actually wound up buying the uh, this guy's book, um, John Truby. I think it was the Anatomy of Story. Um, yeah, it's this one. Oh my god, this thing is so slow. I hate Firefox so much. Uh, haha, see, my VPN's already working. Delivered to Australia. Yeah. 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 Try, try. Because, you know, I remember whenever I go on Amazon, I was like, here's your, here's, here's your zip code. Here's your neighborhood. Would you like it? It's like, dude, why don't you just display my whole effing address, even though I'm not logged in at all? Um, October 24th. Oh, that's weird. I got the, um,. I got a different version, and it was like costing me like twelve bucks, but whatever. So I actually bought his uh, story course several years ago, before I made my movie. Um, I mean, it was after actually. I can't. Remember. Actually, yeah, it was after I made my movie actually, or at least mo or, or at least well after I made the movie. So it was too late to kind of make certain changes. But uh, yeah, because right now, um, because I haven't even started watching my. Metal Gear Marathon things, so I can figure out like how they did the story, and uh, I'm trying to actually figure out how do you do plot twists because 
you know, you can have like a pretty simple story, but it's like, yeah, it's predictable, it's not as exciting. Yeah, I'll have a good game, but it won't be memorable. But, you know, if I want to have a great game like Metal Gear and all the others, you know, it's really the story. So, I definitely have the stuff for it, so. Problem is, in, in order for to have a great game, you really do need to have that twist. Otherwise, it's like, yeah, you always just be, you know, good, right? Hmm. So anyway, uh, this guy taught uh, Jonathan Nolan, the guy who wrote, you know, basically all of Christopher Nolan's stories. And of course, uh, Dark Knight was actually written based on this guy's teachings. So, you know, if I have to learn something, especially screenwriting, I'm going to learn from the fucking best. And who's the best? Anybody that works in Hollywood that made the Dark Knight, okay? <laughs> so if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. All right, anyway, so it looks like things are looking pretty up. Hey, I didn't mention this uh, yesterday, but I said that it should be a dead cat bounce, but it look, but it's like, I just know it's going to go up, but it's like, oh, I'm just too distracted. But so, there's really a lot of chaos going on right now. So that's why I just said I'm not going to do anything. Okay. All right, yeah. See, Firefox is such a piece of garbage. This thing doesn't even update properly. All right, so... Bitcoin down to 65.9%. Get out. Uh, 152.6 Just thinking doesn't have an ad blocker. 152.6 billion. Bitcoin itself is at 67.21. Very good. We're making money. Everything's going up a lot. Litecoin's at 39.78. Yeah, it's up a modest amount. Doggy coin is 233.7 million market cap. Also very good. Um, Steam is at 18.67 cents, so it's actually flatlined quite well. Uh, I don't think Coin Market Cap has high listed, but right now on Coin Gecko, it's like worth 19 cents as of last night. So with Steam, we're just gonna wait and see because like they're still trying to implement Hive and all that. So I'll probably just wait till like next week. They said maybe something have something by the end of this week, but honestly, with coronavirus, you know, I eh, just give them some time. Um, all right, so Wall Street roars at the open as investors. But yeah, oh my god, Firefox really is a piece of garbage. So it not only loads, but it loads the previous day's cash. God, Firefox is so bad, such a trash browser. Ugh. Anyway, SP, uh, so Dow's back up 1174. Okay, blah 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 blah. All right. Wall Street roars at the open as investors bet on coronavirus rescue bill. Okay. Um, yeah, and then yesterday, they were like, well, we're doing a relief bill, so let's tank the markets. It's so stupid. People are just so freaking emotional. Um, Stock search Tuesday recouping some of the... Actually, let's make you bigger. All right, there we go. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Pre-market trading. Monday was an ugly day, late blah, blah, repeal, blah, 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 now all in, damage has been outbreak, uh, blah, 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 okay, so nothing new, all right. GMC coin surged to 8 yesterday, now it's back up down to like 6 to 7, so, I don't know, it's doing pretty well, so that's all I care about. 4 4 coin surprisingly is going up, um, looks like it's up to 7 to 8, that's actually pretty impressive, I like it. 2x2 two two coin, of course, is uh, the usual. 59 to 60 or 61. Wow, look at those massive buy orders. So hopefully this means all this money from the stimulus and everyone just, you know, getting tired, sick and tired of the stupid shutdown. Now they're just buying up everything. Uh, holy cow. Compound coin is also skyrocketing too. 903 million compound coins. So it's up to 6,100 to 9,000. Wow, look at that. I think the bar is up around here. Holy shit. So, yeah, money is definitely flooding because people definitely want to be buying, but they can't because of all the, you know, stupid coronavirus bullshit. God, look how fucking terrible this this browser is. Ugh. Of course, I still have people on BitChute just leaving for some reason. So, it's, like, ridiculous. <clears throat> See, on the one hand, it's easy to appeal to, like, 
the more hardcore political people. But on the other hand, like as soon as you stop doing it and you talk about other things, then they get then they start leaving. And it's like, you know, dude, it's not just about politics and shit. Bitcoin. Oh god, I really don't like this. I really want to go back to Brave. <laughs> um Oh yeah, here's the other thing. I have to click a thing on the top to like scroll through the stupid thing on the bookmarks up top. Mm. Um, blah, 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 blah. All right, it's just people not knowing what they're talking about. Trillion dollar bill, I turn up Bitcoin, I turn up blah, 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 blah. I mean, no, he's obviously stupid. Ripple Objector says crypto blockchain will transform what a Binance chain will. We already know that. IMF Chief says economic turnaround for coronavirus impact should arrive in 2021. No, I would say. I mean, we could fundamentally fix most of the problems of coronavirus basically in the next couple of weeks. It would only take like probably three months. It's not that hard, actually. Because the only reason why we're all losing money is because of the shutdown. That's why Trump, as I said yesterday, wants to get rid of the shutdown. And then now the fake news terrorists and the left wing, like far left wing pieces of shit are all like, Trump's going to get us all killed. We're going to shut down everything more. Like they're like they they're like they don't even care about you and me. All right. Because if they did, they wouldn't have called it the flu back when they were calling it basically um, the flu when this thing first started. And then because of political partisanship, Conservatives and liberals then flipped flipped around on that, but uh, yeah, it's like they're deliberately trying to tank the economy so they can get rid of Trump, all right? And that's another reason why they're not passing the relief bill, also, right? Because they're fighting over bailouts because they know if Trump gives people direct cash, Trump's going to win the election, and they don't want that either. It's like we have a bunch of evil fucking uh, I can't say the f word, bunch of evil pieces of shit, you know, uh, in Congress. And really, you know, mostly uh, fake news terrorist media, which is mostly consist of, you know, uh, far left wing assholes like CNN and shit. And uh, yeah, they're ruining everything. And of course, they have their army of useful idiots. So, uh, you know, uh, so that puts us uh, in a very dangerous situation. Alibaba Tech to Jack Ma calls on the world to unite against coronavirus ships and of mass test kits. This is such old news. God, Daily Hole has just not been on their game, man. Um, whatever, whatever. Okay, so, so we, there's no, there's no, there's no point in even looking at that. All right, so it looks like Trump is doing pretty well. Uh, he's actually, yeah, he's been on the upswing recently. So let's see. All right, so Trump has now finally retaken the lead. Uh, he's now up two cents, so this is very good. Um, uh, so Trump, uh, Trump is finally having a good impact on. Uh, like his, like once he realized that he had to take the coronavirus seriously, this I guess this was a couple of weeks ago now. Um, you know, it, it's finally starting to pay off. So uh, now it's going back up. That's what we want, all right? Because we don't want anybody. We don't want anybody else running. Because because uh, I mean, you already see what's happening, right? Everyone's literally kind of com complaining about the stay-at-home order and blah, blah blah. It's like Trump, you know, Trump is back because he wants to reopen America. Blah blah blah. So. Uh, okay. Congress must approve the deal with all the nonsense today. Yes. Uh, this is not about the ridiculous Green New Deal. It's about putting a great work and going back to work. Uh, it's in full force, but I haven't had to use it because no one said no. Millions of masks are coming up back to the states. Uh, Charlie Kirk. Uh, well, we know he's a fake, a fake right asshole, so we're not going to support him. Hey, Democrats, what does the have to do with the COVID-19? Ask it for 327 million friends. Yeah, I mean, basically, the Democrats are really shoving in a lot of pork. I know Mike Cernovich is working hard on the GOP and all their pork, but I need to be honest, I'd rather we just get our bill and get our pork, because I, I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday. I think I did, but I'll repeat it. But, yeah, the GOP bill had bailouts but it also bailed out the worker right bailed out you and me and i get my fucking trump bucks the full 1200 so in this case yeah it is the fucking democrats fault 
So in that case, yeah, I would probably uh, that's not the op- that's the uh, complete opposite take of Mike Cernovich. Uh, but you know, whatever. It's like you know, he he obviously knows a lot more about the situation than I do. So uh, I think his thing was uh, you know the Republican Party should thank him for that or something because of uh, you know it's going to mean that the Republicans lose the Senate. But I think the Republicans lose the Senate anyway. Uh, God, I really don't like this. Oh, yeah, Bill Burr, the insider trading guy, of course he's going to keep his job. I mean, he's just going to say at the end of the day, well, the Democrats in Virginia, they all had... <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. Oh, wow, I just had to try to suppress that, then I don't have massive hiccups. Uh, whatchamacallit? Um, whatchamacallit, he'll just say, hey, they all had Ku Klux Klan uniforms. They still got to keep their jobs. <laughs> So, uh, so who keeps this thing? Who will control the Senate after 2020? So this thing flipped significantly. This used to be uh, flipped around. The Democrats were 54 and then Republicans were 45. Now this thing is significantly higher. Um, yeah, this is not accurate. Predicted always had it flipped around. Who, which part will control the Senate? Who will control the House? Um, this thing still remains the same. The Democrats will still have the House, which is very annoying. People need to stop voting fucking Democrat. They want to solve this shit. Um, oh, maybe I was getting confused with this one. See, see, this doesn't make sense. That one is conflicting with this one. This thing is saying that the Democrats will control both houses of Congress. But over here, where was it? Or where the hell was it? But well, over here, it says the Republicans are like well going to be in control. It's like, ugh. like this thing is just stupid. I guess people just don't know what's going to happen with the Senate. I, mean, I guess that's again, that's probably quite true because again, this uh, there's a lot of pork involved in the. Um, in the stupid relief bill so like they, they it's just like it's just like so annoying that's also the other reason why i'm starting to like think we need a new way to do politics because right now the way it works is you have to get along you have to go along to get along otherwise nothing gets done oh great i thought i turned off the stupid autofocus on this let's see no i did not all right well it's good to know that obs still maintains that so let me see Hold on, let me make sure I have kicked out a uh, heroes here. All right. Um, I lost my train of thought. Uh, let's see. But um, yeah, it's like I don't know. But I mean, at this point, I just don't care. Just pass the stupid effing bill. Uh, Liz Wheeler. Uh, Doctor Fred is all of us. Oh, okay. Professional Mexican talk so, about you know what I'd like to do? I'd like him to go back to the State Department, or as they call it, the Deep State Department, if you don't mind. I'd like to have him go back and uh, do his job. So does anybody have any questions? <laughs> yeah. I wonder why he uh, found that really funny. But, all right, you know, whatever. I'll, you know, they're under such stress that they could probably use any kind of humor. Quarantine life, uh, da, 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 uh, Jen Pellegrino. Nice. Oh, she looks somewhat different. Miss Renegola and Retriever, yeah. OEN at least always has the really hot babes there, at least, so they have that going for them. Chance of dying. Well, uh, this is rare. Trump retweeted Ed Coulter after <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I guess uh, Trump's like, you know what? I'm just going to retweet everybody. Chance of dying is 45, half a percent. Uh, very far from the world. The Who's figure of 3.4%. I will actually retweet this because it's actually start, It's actually important that we just start you know, getting rid of the shutdown. Because we can't wait 15. I mean, in New York City, we have to wait longer because our density is too dangerous. But most of the America, all right, most of America is not... New York City, right? You have a couple of hot spots, but that's because we're densely packed city. So keep that shut down. 
but that we still need to go out. In fact, people are still ignoring it. Like, you know, so. Uh, let's see. So you're calling a great debt. Rest in peace. Uh, so this is Trump retweeting, uh, what's her name? Uh, Emerald Robinson. Um, yeah, now she works for Newsmax. I'm kind of curious to know why she left OAN. Uh, I mean, it's hopeless to bed. We must try hydro, yeah, hydro, I, not, hi, I, I, hydro, 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 queen and as, as a thromacine. Don't even bother trying saying that fast ten times in a row. The media, that's false hope. It's not proof for use yet. Cuomo, we must try hydrozachloroquine and azthra... I gotta write the first sign, azathromacine. Yeah, the real Israelization, what a fantastic idea. Yeah, this is just like fucking to total dog shit. Burks is sober, for sure. Yeah, I do actually like Rebecca Burks. That's like the nice old lady. Right, that always usually has the scarves. Uh, professional today, I feel kind of having a part of the team. Yeah, she seems to really know what she's doing. She's got like that nice motherly like kind of tone, you know. So it's it's actually like a really good. Uh, it's actually like a really good. Um, I don't know what is it synergy in the team. Fauci on with Trump, he has a lot of that's his nature. He's constantly yeah. I don't know, like Rouge doesn't like. Fauci. Funny enough, I actually want to unfollowing Roosh because at that because now I'm just starting to get annoyed with like a lot of the dumb takes he's been doing. All right, particularly when it comes to racism. Like I get that, like yes, we can't, uh, you know, let virtue signaling and racism like not uh, be a you know be a problem, right? Because that's what the far left does. But on the other hand, you can't just completely ignore and pretend it doesn't exist either. It's like it's actually a problem, right? And then like he doesn't. Even, I think maybe he might have read it and sort of responded-ish, but he still keeps doing uh, stuff like that. It's like, okay, I just had it. Um, oh, yeah, and then he also attacked Dr. Fauci, and then I guess he's and told him he's a clown and he, Trump should replace him. I'm like, like of all people, he said, because like, he used to be a biologist and scientist, so he should know, like, he should know about it. He's like, yeah, we don't like the shutdown, but that doesn't mean the shutdown itself is a stupid idea. You know, just like guns, you know, some people need guns, other places not so much. That's why it's up to the states. Personally, I would just make it that everybody has guns, right? But, you know, but then I still would wind up having, oh, yeah, you know, some situations you're going to need to restrict guns a little more, right? Because if you're in New York City and everyone's a liberal, well, yeah, you better restrict those guns because those liberals are going to, you know, start packing heat and start going like, you know, on like, uh, you know, Parkland High School mode or whatever. So, uh, voter fraud, most AD, sits the virus, blah, 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 uh, Triple G, D, D, D. Oh, yeah, so when I was going through my follows, uh, the first person that's now followed is Katrina Pearson, and the second person is good old Mike Cernovich. Stephanie Grisham. Um, let's see. This is the hoarding price gouge of supplies needed. So I think this only applies to medical, uh, medical stuff and not... Uh, food, but I mean it's kind of hard to do that because a you're gonna cause panic. People are gonna hoard food anyway, so they don't really give a shit. Uh, yeah, Lori Ingram's definitely uh, definitely on top of things. I'll worry about anything. I don't care. It is uh, press about the allies in the fight. That is actually true. Um, you know, Trump has been pretty good in terms of bipartisanship, and apparently Bill De Blasio has finally got through his dumb thick skull to stop complaining, actually do something. Um. Direct payments of cards are well, uh, let's see, direct payments, this was 19 hours ago, uh, House Pelosi, they're doing a 2.5 trillion stimulus, but the problem is it's giving pork to all their shit, climate change, diversity initiatives, uh, abortion providers, of course, um, <clears throat> so it's just basically the left wing people doing their version of the GOP establishment's version of their fucking bailouts, and you know, at the end of the day, they just don't care about uh, care about us because they're just complaining about the bailouts. Uh, that's pretty funny. Is anyone doing the? Because I did my twenty twenty census uh, yesterday. It's actually pretty fast. Uh, we do it online, and uh, I wonder if anyone's actually doing a, uh, a prank with that. Horgan says BC's by Billy COVID. What? 
Is this British Canada? Food stats from a stall set it stall a stimulus talk. Um, let's delay stocks pair twenty two point five. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing the Democrats have a better pork than the GOP did. So that's why the stock markets maybe feel a little better. But either way, I just want my fucking Trump bucks. I really don't care, right? So because. Someone in America that we don't like, whether it's the big corporations or the left-wing bullshit, right? They're going to get a bailout. So just give them the fucking money so we can have our Trump bucks. And then we'll send in Nick Fuentes and the Groiper uh, soldiers to, like, fucking deal with them later. All right? Just give us our damn Trump bucks. These pieces of garbage. Um, and apparently this guy actually is a fr longtime friend of Trump. He runs a multi-billion dollar commercial real estate empire. Mostly located in Los Angeles. And... Um, yeah, he says the exact same as Mike Bolin, like, about the chain reaction. So, uh, yeah, so Trump knows he's got to, like, hurry up. Also, he has his own publicly traded stock, REIT. I looked it up. It's, like, it's all right. I could make, uh, it's called CNLC or something, Colony Real Estate Stock or something. Um, doesn't pay much in dividends, but it's pretty stable and, like, used to be worth $15, $16. So, and, I mean, now it's probably gone up a lot of money, but, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, what are my stocks actually worth? Uh, oh, this is pretty fantastic. Yeah, see, this is why this is why Firefox is such trash. Like now, I have to click more arrows. <laughs> oh God! All right, so markets are up. Uh, it looks like yeah. So so far, resistance is pretty heavy at this thirty-three percent mark. That's what we want because I'm sick and tired of buying. I just want everything to go back up. Uh, Mitch also wants things to go back up, the programmer, right? So, yeah, we we, we need money. We need money. Um, RF. Uh, how much are you worth right now? Uh, $8.46. All right, so we're back in the green. So this thing is making me money. Uh, Remmel. Uh, Crit Susie, you're probably worth... Okay, right, that's pretty reasonable. Because remember, this stock has to start matching fundamentals because again friday was weird everything was crashing but remel went up like a dollar fifty so then yesterday it finally compensated by going down uh and then now today it's i think it's pretty much matching this um so there's a third stock i guess we could look up amza but i mean i don't expect this thing to really go up no that's totally wrong I don't think I don't expect this to go up because they're already doing um, a reverse stock split. Uh, ten percent means it goes up ten cents. What a piece of garbage! Yeah, I definitely will need to make sure that next time I don't break my rule, right? Because I broke my rule AMZA and I pay the price for it. So and I have Microsoft, but I don't care about Microsoft. I mean, I already know that's already stable, so it's probably up whatever amount. Oh, all right, fine. We'll. I'll just look for it so we can see on the sidebar the next time I do this video tomorrow. Uh, Microsoft up 6.12%. It's back up to uh, whatever. All right, very good. All right, making money, making money. But what matters is Rebel. Um, uh, of course, I got to. God, this, this thing. What I hate about Firefox is it's constantly reloading the previous cache, and it's just so bad and so slow. It, it's really, truly a uh, terrible browser. You should never use it unless you absolutely... It's actually worse than Internet Explorer. I'm actually going to go ahead and say it, because I used Internet Explorer to do my um, Unity asset shopping, because for some reason, like on Chrome, it's it, it just doesn't work. Uh, it just lags like crazy. Um, but yeah. All right, so uh, Remel is going to do pretty well. Um, so Remel, let's look up uh, some news. Uh, by Seeking Alpha, okay. Uh, then some education. Uh, so I don't actually see anything different from Remel. So, okay. All right. So I'll take the hit. I mean, I already took the hit from the coronavirus outbreak. So hopefully it won't be going down any further. Because again, we still want this thing to get out of the $5 range. So that Rebel, so that Credit Suzy doesn't decide to do UBS mode and they just simply do mandatory redemptions. Um, so, but I think it'll be okay. Because as long as everything's going up, they'll probably just leave it. 
Uh, <clears throat> all right, so everything else is going up. Rimmel, yeah, I mean, that's fine. I mean, Rimmel's not going up as much because, like, Rimmel, again, is just, like, crazy, uh, crazy volatile. But uh, if 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 the but if the Dow goes back to like twenty nine k or whatever, and Rimmel's still down here, then I'll actually start worrying because then that probably means there's fundamentally something really wrong. Um, days range so it was as high as three dollars and forty cents today. So yesterday it was going down and go down more and it's going back. Okay, so this thing was still wanting to go down from yesterday going down. So now it's fine stabilizing. All right, we'll see what I have. All right, so we'll see how it goes. You know, hopefully, hopefully it will go back up. Oh, it should. If everybody else is getting here. Um, all right. So for the most part, I guess there's really nothing to see. I mean, it's just. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll. All right. I guess we'll just do this. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I need some more vitamin C tablets. I guess we'll make this the uh, thumbnail, all right? Um, hmm. So, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my uh, YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so you can get this channel to, uh, you know, uh, continue growing. Now, of course, I have the shit lives. Uh, downloading my stuff now so it's very it's very annoying it's very annoying um so well you know what are you gonna do so anyway uh done for the day uh gonna try to relax continue working on my game um yeah now i'm getting to the fun part the creativity part so the first thing i want to do is start designing my first level uh and then you know after that then i start slowly adding all the other stuff so uh yeah uh and of course you know the music's gonna be great too so um well eventually <laughs> for now i'm still trying to listen to music and try to figure out a certain style because it's kind of hard because i'm mixing a lot of string instruments and i need to make sure that the themes are still somewhat consistent and i also want to still try to include like deus ex like music which is classical jazz and techno it's actually pretty hard apparently Hmm. Well, I mean, for modern day uh, composers, it shouldn't be too hard, but I don't know. Well, well I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Anyway, uh, for now, I'm doing absolutely nothing again. I just, I'm just running this bull, uh, bull run wave, bull run wave until we get the relief plan. All right, we still don't get a relief plan. On you know, I'm not going to count on this thing continuing to go up. It'll be nice if it continues to go up, but if it goes down, it's like, oh yeah, it's to be expected. So again, my number one move is just do nothing. Uh, Rimmel is still like figuring out what's true prices. I think it's I think it's true prices now dialed in pr uh, appropriately. So uh, we'll uh, we'll see what happens with that. Otherwise, Trump's back on the rise. Uh, he's doing the right thing. Closing. He wants to close the borders. He wants to he wants to get Trump bucks out there, and he wants to lift the the shutdown. And it's clearly working. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. <clears throat> Again, I am not buying. I've bought enough, right? Uh, I just want everything to go up. We're waiting on Steam and Hive to, you know, implement their new blockchains. So we go back to making money as normal. Steam, so Steam and Hive itself so far look very stable price-wise. So it's going to be very good. Uh, Trump's going to win re-election at this rate, hopefully. So, um, yeah, things, things continue to get better. Um, yeah, fuck Charlie Kirk. Well, we'll just use this as a shitty thumbnail.